this is a little tutorial on how to do a Facebook Live, which is probably the most basic and direct way to post a video on Facebook. And what you're looking at here is my sample Facebook page. And I'm just on the home page. You just click the little house thing if your screen doesn't look like this. And it gives you a place to go ahead and enter a new post. And one of the options is live video. So I'm gonna click that. And then it gives me these two options, either to create an event that you can invite people to or just to go live. And I'm gonna to decide to do a test broadcast before going live. I'm gonna select that. And then it just walks you through these options. So connect video source. Um, right here, I've connected the webcam. That's what we want. And I'm going to look at my setups here. If you click this, your dashboard, it shows you, you know, what's happening, comment, moderation, how many people are viewing. Of course, I have no views because I have no followers on this uh, sample Facebook page and I'm not live yet. Um, now I'm going to go to settings and just check this out. Um, so it's showing that I'm using the Facebook high def camera and my internal microphone. I am also using earbuds because there's a little microphone right here by my mouth. I'm a quiet talker, so it helps to have that microphone right there. But you can also just speak directly into your computer. Um, and then interactivity, um, this is about how you would uh, deal with comments and uh, we got polls, questions, graphics, if you want to do those things. For now, I would recommend just making a basic video. Um, so next thing I want to do is look at my post details. Oops. And that should just click for me. For some reason, it's not. Oh, okay, okay, so here are my post details. It was already up. What is my live video about? Um, my title is going to be test, and my description is going to be test, test. Um, but of course, you would want to write something more detailed. And now I've completed that task, so I'm ready to go live. I'm going to click go live, and I'm going to start my test. And see it's counting me down and now I'm in. Now I am doing a live broadcast. Um, it, it says live up here in the top corner and on this side of the page it's telling me I'm live. So now that I see all that I can start my uh, hey world. This is Allie and I am doing a Facebook live and I am here to give you a little tutorial on Facebook lives and I hope that you're having a great day out there in the world. Um, now I've done my broadcast, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end my test. And then it asks, do I want to end the live video? Um, so I click end. And it asks me to wait. So if I am happy with that, um, let's see. It tells me that I have a 37 second video. My live video has ended. Um, this web post will be on your timeline soon. So it looks like everything went according to plan. So now what I want to do um, is view my post. There it is. So I'm going to stop that um, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to return home and let's try it one more time. We'll do the actual broadcast. Okay, so once again, because we just went through this, we know that we're connected to the source. We want to complete our post details. I'm going to call this one live test. Live. Very exciting. And now my post details are set up in there. I'm going to click go live. Okay. 
and I'm going to select go live down here and you can see again it's counting me in and it tells me that my video is starting I'm going to wait till it turns red over here on the left side and I'm in so hey everyone this is Allie doing an actual broadcast um, this is very exciting happy to be here on this sunny Saturday and I hope that you're having a great day out there so now I'm going to end live video and it looks just like when we did the broadcast um, same thing again so I can view the post let's just check in on that here it is So you can see from that that um, while you're waiting for your video, for the, the live to turn red on the left hand side, you might not want to have a whole lot of dialogue because it might actually be recording even before it tells you it is. But you know, these things are it's also okay to, to be imperfect, to be human. I really encourage that. So um, this is all set to go now and I could edit this if I wanted to or I could create a little clip um, that's one thing to play around with probably let's just see what I say here oh I've got the sound off So what I've done is just made a little, I think I've made an 11 second clip. Let's just make it a 10 second clip, see if I can do that. It looks like I've made an 11 second one, but these are, it's nice to just have a little short clip. Um, your, your whole video will still exist and you can play that, but you can also take a little, a little clip and I'm going to publish that. And I think I'm going to share it to my story. All right. So we tried a bunch of things here. Let's, I'm going to click up here at the top and head back to my home page and see what we've got. All right, here's my video. There's my test video, but see, only admins and editors can see this post. And hopefully, if I go to home, now I can see my story. And I've got my little short clip there. It doesn't look really great because it's... Uh, oh, I see. So we have the whole video there and then this is our little clip right here oops okay by clicking it I just learned it takes you into the video itself but let's um oh well that's what it wants us to do it makes a little clip and it posts us to posts it to the story and um, people can click through that way I don't love that, so I guess I'm going to discourage using a clip for a story. Maybe if you have a clip that you like, just post it directly to your page. But anyway, I hope that that gives you um, some idea of how that works, and you can start making short live videos on your Facebook page. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.